Right, so this is uh, this project is a uh, Hayabusa factory build card. We've been starting as well. It's sort of been uh, here, and we've been waiting for some of the component parts. So that's a, a build that's going to start to continue now as well. Um, it's an RR round tube chassis. Um, it's going to be having a carbon bulkhead panel on this uh, Gen 2 Busa. It's got welded in cage, side impact bars, interior panel kit is fitted in there, etc. Now, um, and then this will be. Um, some of the features that we say on our chassis we brace all the uh, diff bracings are extra now as well um, all the fuel tank fixings are in uh, which you can see here so but this is this is a welded in cage for a customer that's requested that we've also put on the uh, seven it's a race track car only so he's having a rain light uh, put up there we've put that into the to the roll cage for him um, and then we've um, <coughs> it's going for a, a billet pedal box on this one and then we've got a gen 2 booster which we've uh, detailed this week as well gone through this uh, low very low mileage hadn't done many miles this particular one but obviously it's always good so we just actually soda blasted the block a bit actually on this cleaned everything up where it's just general grime and dust from it but um, I think you see it's come out pretty well and should look tidy in the engine bay um, yeah so we are done a, a delete on the uh, pair valve system here uh, standard clocks is going to be going onto this one and then we've got uh, all the RR wishbones ready to to go onto it and then the rest of the parts sort of coming in as we go prop shaft that goes in pretty early it's a 338 diff running paddle shift which is our cow horn paddle shift system on it as well so that chassis um, that will start to see bits and bobs get bolted onto that one um, it's going to be dry sumped system as well so you'll see we've done a, the golf coloured car and a red car and a boost it'd be very very similar in specification so 38 mil roll cage so slightly slimmer gives it a bit more weight saving as well but no difference in structural integrity so the Indy RR booster build that we've started as well um, this has moved to the sort of uh, lift table here um, they're very good actually very handy if you're looking for something like that to work on your car extremely handy goes up you know at least nearly just under a meter but you can move them up and down we've now moved this in we've got the it said last week brake lines in all fully secured uh, braided hosed engines in um, and we've also put on I'll try and zoom in and do it if we can but now we yeah we've put uh, all the uh, billet uh, dry sump system is now on this you have to remove certain things which is thermostat how in here we have to take all the thermostats out um, we plug those off because we gun the electric water pump and then we put in which you can see down here a uh, new billet clutch and housing which drives off of that and the pump system as well um, all in as well we've checked all the clutch we redo all the clutch as well um, engine's very clean and tidy so it's a low mileage engine anyway uh, new oil filters etc so that's all um, all in just got to bolt it in really but dry sump tank will sit in roughly this position where you then use a um, clamps and that to hold that in it's a five inch tank use uh, very good and very well known prop shaft is in this goes in very early if you're a bike engine builder make sure you put that in before you put your engine in otherwise you will struggle to get it in now um, so it's one of the first parts that does actually go in, in the build once you've done all the brake lines and fuel lines which we've done here you'll see going through to the back and the floor pans on so that's been riveted on as well um, ready to go so brake tee in etc and your Brady brake cases these which uh, we put in ready there for the wheel woods um, fuel tanks done as well we run the stock gen 2 booster pump in this this is a baffled tank um, in there with a 51 mil hose your breather outlet etc and the pump sits in here and then you, we because it's having standard instrumentation we use the float and the mechanism off it and then we've got the diff here which is running a 338 um crown wheel opinion on this for the booster gives it about 127 top end speed and there's a bit of paddle box so yeah very nice and coming along slowly um but surely and uh We'll keep you updated as we bolt parts on. I think we've got a event to do on bits and bobs as we bolt parts on this week. So moving on to the next car. So uh, Indy RR Busa. Uh, we started to build on this a few weeks ago. Uh, we've been trying to fit other cars in as well, like the Lotus in this week as well, which is an engine out engine in. So we've uh, 
a little bit down on manpower as well but we've got all the front a arms on uh, they're fitted because they're all rose joint we have to tap all of these out beforehand so if you're doing an indr remember these joints with a powder coat um, it's best to just run a tap through them all and then you can shim them put the bottom and top ball joints on we've got the drag links on bottom ball joints ready to go so we've got steering back on aluminium radiator uh, we do our oil cooler mounting kit on those on the front as well um, so that's all on which is uh, nice and neat and ties a nice 70 mil Corvette I think we showed you that last week um, they're the brackets for the um, just see a rubber mount that we use for the uh, dry sump tank and in the rear we've got <coughs> parts of the rear section on now suspension top and bottom a arms uh, dampers we said about fuel tank and diff last week as well and then we're just fin finishing uh, putting the dry shafts together now it's all new brand new dry shafts and stub axles and CV joints on this particular one and uprights assembly as well um, CV boots so we're going on so they're really prepped and I think now Monday we'll carry on with that as well and then <coughs> wiring loom um, has been labelled and uh, shortened for us uh, ECU flashed etc as well so that's a bit of a pig of a job to do um, nobody loves wiring but uh, relatively simple if you look at manuals and colours it's actually break it down into component parts it's not too bad but a bit boring looking at wiring doesn't really excite anybody I don't think but it's an important really important part of the car if that fails and you ain't got a car so you need to make sure it's a uh, button down nice and tight so yeah that's where we were uh, kind of at, at, uh, at the moment on the on the booster car so booster build carrying on as well little bits on every single car front uprights that we do so it's a Cortina based geometry cast billet and um, billet hub bearing carriers uh, wheelwood discs all round they've all been fitted <coughs> excuse me we fit them as standard um, the wishbone as you can see is dead straight as well so we change that in the geometry um, as well rather than the uh, wishbone that normally has the kick up for the uh, Sierra that's been in it's got the uh, rack parts to put in now dry sump tank now fitted just with the uh, as we said last week rubber mount those and also we put the uh, temperature sender down in the base there um, that's just got needed earth wire we've on with the wiring also on this one so the wiring's been put in up fed up to the injectors just got finished the plate for that but wiring's been on as well and then we'll move just like the rear brakes and calipers on the on the wheel woods on the rear so that's a step-by-step -step stage on that particular car as well so uh, slowly in, uh, ticking along as the pulse parts on as well uh, booster build just the wing stays fitted I've been waiting for bodywork which has just arrived the orange bodywork as well that's just arrived there we go so we're now going to be fitting the side panels rear tubs all of that onto the booster build so wing stay fitment, this is for our Cortina billet, we bend these, depending on what wheel offset you're doing, we'll bend these and then pre-powder cut them afterwards, but fitment of, of those um, is pretty simple, a couple of bolts and you're done. So the booster build, uh, we've been carrying on with that as well, um, we've got a few bits fitted now, so the side panels are fully bonded on, um, we've fitted in the blade anti-roll bar we're just waiting for the shockers to arrive on this at the moment um, they are a bit behind unfortunately um, shockers to arrive and then finish off the blade we've fitted in the brake system we've fitted in the uh, twin pots in here on the bracket up top as well that's gone in quick shifter systems gone on so it's having a flat shift up shift on this as well carbon bulkhead ready for the dry sump system and all the pipe works gone in for that as well um, header tanks in and the returns and that we're just waiting for a couple of bits more pipe work to arrive scuttles in final fitment done on that aero screens just mocked at the moment but the carbon aero screens which are proven to be extremely popular because they work and they look absolutely amazing in the carbon um, carbon interior panels are done as well they're all nicely done back panels all bonded on now finished as well and when the cameraman zooms around um, which we're having these made up this is the first test sample that's done is the uh, black filler caps as well which just transforms it when it, especially when it's this color scheme it works rain lights fitted as well it's got an LED rain light 
that's all fitted and then we've fitted in these small LED they are uh, LED strips they're an indicator brake light stop light all in one as well because this is a race car it's going to give it a nice high brake level on it as well for people coming up behind a um, few little bits and then exhaust manifold um, is bolted in position its final position and it's going to have the carbon silencer on this as well so we'll we're cracking on with that as well a few bits more to do we're just waiting on a couple of little parts remaining parts to come in to tidy up some of the small bits and bobs like the shocks and stuff bonnets all pre-mocked and cut and nose cones ready to go on next week as well that's down here um, and that's ready to go on next week at the same time so wing stays just to bend once we uh, do the final fitment on the wings and we'll show you about the wing stays on the blue car so we'll move on to the uh, cbr 1000 rr so Busa RR, the factory built one we've been dealing with, I think you can see, it's got its four little corners on now, uh, CXRs, 8 inch on the rear, 6 inch on the front, RRRs all round as well, um, we've fitted all the uh, brakes, unfortunately the wheels are on so you can't really see, but um, all the brakes have been finished in here now, um, it's done etc, rear shocks on as well in here, we've got uh, Pro Race 1.2s, uh, so CXRs on this all round and then Protex shocks and then we've just got the rear anti-roll bar which fixes on these fixings here um, that's on the bench so we scoot over here that's ready to fit next week but it's been it's a blade single blade anti-roll bar here and that's ready to go to go on so apologies for this on my own but it's harder to do on your own and I have support but um, what we've got here blade anti-roll bars fitted under the front suspension mounts so we've got the uh, twin blade one fitted in it's another nice neat touch the exhaust manifold is on we've got the carbon silencer just a final fit on that um, and then as you can see carbon interior tunnel top etc all on very neat nice and tidy got his branded harnesses to go in as well and then his uh, oil catch tank this has got to go and fit up here we'll put that there so it reminds us, look at that. So that will fit in as well and plumb up to the to the dry sump tank and all carbon again, carbon bulkhead, carbon aero screen, carbon back panel, carbon rear wings actually. So this is having it, there we go, on the shelf here, ready to fit on. Wet lay carbon, extra wide arches and front carbon arches as well. They're ready to go on. So rear diffuser as well, that's all made, ready to fit on. So we start to see them bolts getting bolted on next week. Not quite on the ground, Bit more work than we envisaged over the week cars coming in and out so um, yeah we're cracking on with that as well all right so orange booster time in the rr and um, carbon rear arches are on now very nice look really super slick once we put the uh, cxrs on there um, actually we can do a closer up and all the brakes in there now as well um, they're all fitted and then when you whiz around the other side you'll see we've got uh, the exhaust system finally fitted, brackets done, and the carbon silencer on, which we may we show some pictures in a week. Love these, very light. Just looks really, really sharp with all the carbon um, on this car. Carbon rear arches, bulkhead panels, as I said, interior panel sets, etc. All of that's done. Um, and we started on all the coolant lines as well. Coolant lines have been in. Um, just started to do those hoses up to the electric water pump which is here which has got the final fixing to do up to the to the head here on the coolant pipe work catch tanks in and made the bracket for the uh for the nose cam mounting so that's where we've been on with the uh the orange booster still loving the orange and carbon i think that looks absolutely killer so yeah next on booster time uh, so our own the if you've been following the build thread on this uh, mock-up bodywork's now pretty much done, ready for final fitment of nose cone and bonnet catches to go on. We've done the wing stays, I've just got to go off the final powder coat, but the pre-peg CSRs that we do, very nice product, ties in extremely well, I think, with the anthracite wheels. Um, they're all in as well, so when you look, you know, the ties in the vehicle, carbon front arches, carbon rear arches, um, say so the new bonnets um, with the new scoops, always look uh, looks a bit more streamlined that's in as well so a few more bits done on this week and as well a couple of bits we're waiting for unfortunately plumbing wise for our manufacturers are 
sort of letting us down a little bit but um, it is what it is with Covid you know people are trying to get back where they are so that's kind of taking shape um, quite nicely and uh, we've won with a, I think the dashboard's going in this week as well so um, give you an idea where we've at with a sort of orange booster car we move on to the uh, Fireblade car next I'll just give you the final shot so uh, orange booster in the RR um, moved on with this. It's actually running now. I can't start it today because we've taken the dashboard out again now. But um, it's actually all running, which is great news. Um, always nice to get it fire it first time. But we've been working on the dashboard, so uh, it's all disconnected, all the ignition and it. But you know, some of the standard Gen 2 booster clocks, we've just cut them in to the dashboard. Um, the steering column hole is all done. Um, it's all carbon interior is done. And we've also got the carbon seats in here now and uh, all the branded harnesses are in as well so it's completely carbon the interior which is uh, quite nice actually wing mirrors are on center mirrors on and um, we've just started also uh, got to do the, it's all fitted in but the final plumb up on the uh, fire extinguisher system uh, that's in there as well um, so this one's really not a million miles away now um, it's just the uh, the dashboard it's a got to be honest it's, it's very fiddly to uh, cut in the uh, standard dials it is a bit tricky it takes a bit of time and patience as you can see by the uh, the shape of the clip uh, clocks that's on there but other than that she's near enough there now bonnet catches a few other bits uh, we've got holes ready to drill here for fire extinguisher system and the uh, battery kill switch is going in in there as well so uh, yeah that's uh, but she's all running all going in so we'll push on with this as well this week so so project genesis the in the or booster um moved on with this again this week um pre peg front wings are on with the wing stays all powder coated in black i've been tidying up the engine bay um as well a few bits to do left on that um boot cover carbon boot cover has been fitted now carbon effect has been fitted today it looks uh, rather tidy and very neat great for easy access as well now they weigh nothing so at least you can get into the rear of the car but they weigh nothing so if you're looking for saving weight, you know, it's a good way rather than the, the sheets and etc. Harnesses are in. And uh, yeah, well, this one, I promised you last week, this is this runs as well. Um, so we've fired it up. So it's a kill switch on the side here. We have ignition. Got the standard dot dials in here from the booster. Press the go button. It's running all good. Got our standard gauges in here by oil pressure and uh, oil temperature. Obviously, we've got the standard clocks and that's everything that's in there. That looks really smart, very neat, actually. But yeah, that all runs nicely. Another tick off the list for that one. Um, this is super close to being finished now. Got some bonnet catches, bits and bobs to tidy up, geo to do, uh, call to wait it, etc. Um, but yeah, this is nearly buttoned up pretty much now. Um, we just do. Do preliminary obviously we've got to do some testing on it as well we run for everything get everything running up to temperatures and make sure it's all good but um yeah always good to get the first fires on them as well cool next car we move on right in the or booster genesis car um been on with this again this week few bits we're doing carbon bulkheads in fitted it's mainly the quick shifter we're trying to dial in we've got to put the match made a different shink link link uh, rod for this to incorporate the quick shifter for the upshift as well um, boot cover we showed about last week and it's had a, a, a footwell cover which was fitted in just this weekend so it's a footrest in there as well which a uh, customer wanted this is going geo early part of next week same as Phil's car so we're doing two into one and we'll do a little thing on weights guess the weights maybe on both these cars turbo versus Indy RR we'll put that on our Facebook page and see uh, see what you guys come up with but uh, get your thinking caps on now have a guess Indy RR round tube 38 mil cage versus Indy R square tube 50 mil cage turbo non-turbo CXRs so a lot of carbon on this car so it's everywhere carbon front wings carbon rear wings carbon seats carbon interior panels carbon uh, top tunnel to carbon dash wheel carbon bulkhead panel carbon effect rear boot cover he's gone crazy carbon it's silencer. carbon silence so couldn't even see that around there it's absolutely everywhere car looks killer with the orange just the final bonnet catches to fit and we'll be out we'll be doing some testing on this one in the next week um, that's the plan as you know we showed you all running last week it's just the final flat shifter system to do has got a fire extinguisher system which does what well, about six kilos 
So put that on your scales of thought as well. So uh, give you an idea. Cool, nice clean car though. Right, Genesis car. We said last week it was on the flat shift here. We just got a cable to connect up here, which is for the quick shifter system. We've made all the linkage and rod mechanism for that as well. Um, Geo to be done on this is the last part and just some testing then. So she's pretty much buttoned up now, um, ready to go. Bonnet is done, but we just got to put that on, etc. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much pretty much buttoned up now. So we hopefully can get that out and uh, over to France now, pretty within the next week. Once we do, we've got to do some testing. We always test the cars beforehand, get some uh, get some miles on and make sure there ain't anything, you know, iron out any niggles, etc. That's going to be there if necessary. So yeah, looking really nice though. Love the colour combinations. We said each week with all the carbon details that are on this. So little quick shifter one rather than like what you saw on the cable that's a flat shifter system it's vacuum based this is an electronic one which works on a, a resistor little pull thing here down in here which uh, works on this little solid on a bit here that's that like, so slightly different system uh, that's mainly upshift that's got up and down so but we can do both we can do both so as an option cool yeah we move on here booster time we spoke about the engine bay on that one this is pretty much buttoned up now. You probably see this going on any old rotisserie in a week. We've done a video. Um, but when you look at engine bays, the two where you've got the dry sump system in it as well, um, rather than uh, the standard one, the booster engine is physically bigger um, than, than the thousand, obviously. How much, obviously. How much oil is in this? So you've got about six, just over six litres of oil in here. You run this on those, it's about, with the oil crew, it's about four and a quarter, I think, something like that. So it's about six and a half litres in these. But it's about 30 kilos weight difference in engines, though. So as I say, I can pick that up. This is it stretching on the 90 kilos, so a bit more of a struggle. Uh, but again, super clean engine bay. Both got carbon bulkheads in there, which are nice, and both got the new bonnet scoots on them as well. It's got the aero screen to fit on this one as well, which we uh, so buttoned that one up as well. 